So let's get the proceedings running now and we will uh, see how we go. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for all that you've said uh, and uh, I would ask the audience to take with a slight grain of salt all that he has said about me. And I want to start there a little bit of my talk to you on a somewhat different vein. You see, in order to further the ideals of the world wilderness concept and to prevent the concept and this concept just to remain an ideal, it is of paramount importance to find ways and means of finding and promoting its rationale. There are these ways and means of putting this concept into effect and overcoming or minimizing some of the problems set out by the speakers in this Congress, such as pollution, prevention of acid rain, waste disposal. There are alternative methods and are harmless alternative methods for energy and they are available. Alternative uses of water resources not involving vast inundations of land or displacing humans and its indigent wildlife, harnessing wave energy, solar energy, wind power, just to mention a few. To overcome the chilling doom-laden prognostications of Dr. Irving Mincer's greenhouse effect. Perhaps it could be possible to utilize CO2, carbon dioxide, one of its main causes, to manufacture dry ice, to maintain the polar caps and the actual temperature of the ice there and maintain their present temperature. Innovative and modern technology, world waste material, collected and perhaps burnt in volcanic areas or buried so deep in the earth in the wilderness desert areas of the mid-Sahara where nobody goes or in the empty quarter in Arabia or the Gobi Desert. But all these ideas and visions, some far-fetched and above all, the continuation of this Congress needs money. A start has been made by the thoughts and care of one man. Michael Sweetman, his ideas have had lip service paid to them by some of our speakers here during the Ken Denver conference. The meetings now of the new concept of an international conservative banking, conservation banking program involves all sectors of the human community governmental and intergovernmental agencies, the public and private agencies, large charitable foundations, as well as ordinary individuals worldwide. Michael Sweetman has written the foreword to this concept. Its final form will no doubt be altered, watered down, or widened. But this convention must put forward this charter and with the collective wisdom available here today, the Charter can be enhanced, embracing those who have given their thoughts in the Denver Public Forum. By thinking forward as to how to reach out to the public at large, to every corporate entity throughout the world, to put aside, hopefully tax-free, a part of their profits to fund our ecological and environmental protection. Ladies and gentlemen, every country has its own problems, its indigenous peoples and its wildlife. This International Conservation Bank must know no frontiers, no boundaries. Its funds must be used constructively and not, and not to be challenged into greedy hands or weapons of destruction. I hesitate to link this bank with world wilderness, but I would like to link it with our survival as a human race. This, our generation, must not be cursed by our descendants, if we have any, as to the greatest destructors and squanderers of the world's resources. That great philosopher and cleric Tayyad de Chardin wrote, and I quote, Man can harness the winds, the waves, 
and the tides. But when he can harness the energy of love, then for the second time in the history of the world, man will have discovered fire. Michael Sweetman. Michael Sweetman, your love for the world wilderness concept has given you the necessary fire in your belly to produce the germ of the future needs of this concept. And I have great pleasure in asking you 